Hello everyone, I'm Cosmo and welcome to another episode of my Scrap Mechanics Survival Adventure. Now in this episode, we have a brand new vehicle coming to the fleet. I'm super excited about this one. It's actually behind that wall right there. Ah, what the heck, you guys already saw the thumbnail. <laughs> here we go, the big rig, the Cosmo big rig. So before we get into that, here is uh, the old truck and it's still a good truck. You know, I did have to scavenge it for some parts. You know, there's no engine, there's no lights, uh, there's, you know, some other stuff missing but it's all good. I'm always gonna keep this truck. I'm always gonna keep this shell. I thought it would be kind of cool to actually do that and maybe down the line, you know, turn it into like a hover truck or something, you know, just really see this thing progress from a, you know, a, a beater scrap truck made out of scrap wood into a, like a proper hover truck from the future. So that'd be kind of neat. But one of the reasons that I built this one right here is because this guy was just getting a little too light for uh, some of the more heavy duty stuff that I was doing. For example, this trailer right here, my mining trailer which oh also got an upgrade so right after i finished building this trailer i was like hmm i think i need more capacity i think i need to make this thing better so that combined with some of your guys comments i decided to put a refinery with a chest on the trailer and now i can carry way more resources than i could if i only had the two collectors uh the trailer is obviously a little bigger i got some materials in here it's a little shabby because well i've been spending a lot of materials uh most of these controllers are also upgraded now i don't think these these two are yeah they're not but uh this takes a lot of component kits and it's uh it's a lot okay it's a lot the arm is faster now oh boy oh boy there we go the arm is kind of faster now you know it's good it's good enough it's good enough for now i will build a better mining rig eventually but for now this is perfect however it got a little too heavy and a little too big for this guy to haul around so i figured you know probably a good time to build a big rig so i built a big rig i don't even know where to start guys this thing is gonna help me move out of my base it's gonna help me uh deliver fruit crates to the trader it's clearly helping me haul my trailer right now and it's doing a great job because the other thing that would happen is this trailer would go a bit out of control and start sliding and just flip this truck just 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 flip it and i got tired of flipping on every turn now i did take your guys advice as well and uh i as you can see i scavenged some roofing and siding from uh you know the the abandoned settlements or whatever they are uh since you guys pointed out that you know nobody lives there nobody's coming back i was like ah you know fine i guess it's not stealing and they made a really good uh siding for the uh the truck bed i thought that was kind of neat there was a bit of a last minute addition but it actually was just a flatbed but i decided having the sides on there makes it look a a little more scrappy and b just a little more uh i don't know cool whatever so anyway on to the truck i wanted to build something that uh you know resembled uh i guess nothing too fancy like still kind of like a beater farm truck type of deal but uh you know much more capable than this guy and i think i, I think i managed to do that as you can see i have two fuel tanks i have one here and I have one on this side. They're both full with all the fuel that I have. Uh, I, I figured what better place to store all my fuel than, than in here, right? I made these little steps because it was hard getting into the truck. I have my saw here in case I ever need to swap it out. Really, the saw should be on the mining trailer, but whatever. And I found this sign, which I thought was kind of funny. It looks like Burt Reynolds. It's... Is that who I'm thinking of? Burt Reynolds? I think that's who I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, it just looks like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Hard work pays off. Dang straight it does. So anyway, I got suspension on it, you know, the you know, the whole nine yards. But let's get inside here. Now, one of the cool things that I thought that I added into it was this bed. I didn't have a bed on the other truck or the trailer. And I thought this is perfect because now I'll always spawn inside my cabin. And I can always get in my truck and be like, uh, bye. <laughs> I've got some caution lights up top. I thought that was kind of neat. Makes it look more like a, you know, proper proper big rig i did take the duckling or sorry the duckling the chicken what what is it i'm i'm getting my birds mixed up guys i took this little thing off the truck and i put it as the uh, you know the ornament the hood ornament for this one you know gotta keep the tradition going i got some front lights i got some rear lights now here is one of my favorite parts watch this oh yeah <laughs> so i i know i know what you guys are thinking at least you know the ones that have played this game quite a bit this is gonna glitch the game out yeah probably will but you know i can always i can always just weld it on and figure out some other way but i figure this is a cool way to get to my engine i can adjust my engine power from here as you can see i've got a bit of a fake radiator here that you can see through the grill from the other side and i have these 
uh, I guess, I don't even know what they are, tape bot? I don't know what they're called. I don't know the proper name, but they're the little greenies. As you can see, I've got a couple of heads hanging on the wall there, but I was collecting their heads thinking like, hmm, maybe they'll be useful for something. And sure enough, let's get back in the truck. <laughs> I got truck horn. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I did have to use eight of them because uh, initially when I used two, it was very, very quiet. So I guess, uh, you know, I guess we ended up using most of the ones that I had. But that's basically it, guys. That's that. That's my truck. I'm super pumped on it. And I apologize uh, for the delay between the videos. I haven't even been putting other videos out because I've literally just been grinding for materials. This truck took so much metal. I lost count of the metal, but I can tell you for a fact, it probably took me about 400 flowers just to paint this thing. I did mess up. I did have the cab two different tones of blue at some point, or, uh, you know, teal, whatever you want to call this, cyan. So I had to repaint it a bit, but yeah, 400 flowers, like, it's it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is some of the remnants from my ratings. Got some lights here. What else can I show you guys that's new? As you can see, my, you know, my system has been a little more upgraded here. I needed more storage space. Got the old trailer here, boys. She ain't going nowhere either. We're keeping this one. I figured it would be cool to, uh, I don't know. We'll figure something out for it. I haven't built the cook bot or the dress bot yet. It's just, uh, it's too much materials, guys. Like, I'm gonna do it. It's a lot of materials, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm really struggling for, uh, you know, component kits and electronic, com electronic components? Electronic kits right now? Whatever they're called. So, that's basically where I'm at. But, I think I think what I'm gonna be doing in this episode is scouting for a new place to live. I want to move out. Ooh, there's a greenie. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Give me your head. Give me your head. I want your head. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Do you know John Connor? Come on. Alrighty, these guys are so easy. I cannot wait to get the spot gun. Oh man, I've been watching other guys play. I finally started watching other people play because I'm like, well, I'm so behind anyway, who cares? I think Scrapman's video is the last one that I watched where he was fighting the bosses and th those guns are just, oof, they're a godsend. So yeah, this episode, I'm going to scout for a new place to live because I want to move out the mechanic shop. I want to get my own base set up. I do want to get farming eventually. Uh, you know, I, I haven't been farming at all up until now. Sorry, not even up until now. I still haven't farmed. Um, I've just been drinking cow milk or wok milk <laughs> and like whatever I can scavenge, right? Also, it was hard to get all those 400 flowers, but look how many flowers I have in my area. There's so many here and there's like a bunch on the other side of the road too. So it definitely wasn't as bad as it is for some people. What? What? That's... How did it end up all the way over here? Okay, so this sensor is from a project that I'm working on that will probably be my next video. But this sensor was actually near those sleeping pods over there. So I don't know how it ended up here. <laughs> oh man. All my stuff shot off at some point and I found most of it, but I couldn't find the sensor. So as you can see, I built a second one in my inventory. Uh, cool story, right? So I built a second one and well, I guess I guess I found the original one. But wh why was it here? Why, why was it here? Why, why was I here? Right, wok milk. So, I've been drinking wok milk this whole time, and now Betsy left. Betsy and all the other cows left. I think it might have been because I got attacked the other night. I don't even know why I got attacked so bad, but, oh, speaking of, jeez, that scared me. Oh, now you're backing off. Okay, well, jeez. He, like, attacked me, and then was like, no, 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 I don't want to fight anymore. It's like, dude, no, you already... No, you already started this. <laughs> anyway, something happened and Betsy and all the other cows left. I don't have any more cows here. I'm sure that I could find more cows, but I was like, you know what? It's a sign. I gotta move out. So we're moving out. I got Betsy's pen all packed up too. I scavenged all those resources. I figured I can put everything on that truck once I'm ready and uh, we can just move. But until then, I need to find a place to live. I think I'm going to wait until morning. Also, this is just some of the stone that I got from mining all the metal for this truck. Pretty ridiculous. I, I have a lot of stone, okay? have a lot of stone. But anyway, I think I'm going to wait until the morning here, get some daylight, and then I'm going to go exploring for a place to live. Alrighty guys, here we are. It is finally daylight. I disconnected the mining trailer. We're not going to need it for the time being. And I think what I'm going to do is I realized I've never been down this side of the road. I've been 
down this side of the road quite far. I actually, uh, <laughs> so I don't know if I already mentioned it in this video, but it took me two days of mining materials for this truck. Now, granted, like, you know, I work a job and, uh, you know, I can't, you know, dedicate as much time to this, but it took me two days to get materials for this thing, but I couldn't get cotton anywhere. I just couldn't find cotton. And uh, Khan actually helped me explore for cotton yesterday, and I finally found the cotton field. But I drove all the way down this road to find it. Like, it was, it was nuts. But I've never really been down this side. So I think I'm going to go down this side of the road, and we'll see if we can find any cool areas. Or even just explore, you know, see what's up. Oh man, probably not the, uh, the best rig to explore in, because it's so, so big. Actually, I don't know how fuel consumption works. I wonder if fuel consumption works, uh, like, by the weight of the vehicle that your engine is attached to. I don't really know. Oh jeez, this is, this is fast. Okay, you're a little quick. You're a little quick. We gotta, we gotta pull over and uh, adjust your engine here a bit. Pop the hood. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's drop that down a couple of notches. I love that so much. I hope I never have to change that. The hood popping open is my favorite thing on this truck. And I mean, the carry capacity is insane too. <laughs> Jeez, this thing's hard to drive. Ooh, the other thing is, I think my steering bearings are a little too jittery there. I'm gonna fix that up right now if I can. Where art thou? There you go. Let's lower the speed on both of these. It's so cool being able to uh, modify all this stuff, like change the settings. So many component kits to have. What? What? No, no. <laughs> Don't go back. Okay, there we go. Okay, the steering is less twitchy. Oh, hi. Are you Betsy? Oh, nope. Nope. Don't you hurt her. Don't you hurt her. That's what I thought. Hi. Hi there. I don't have any corn for you, though. I don't have any corn for you. Oh, okay. Bye. Let's go. Oh, okay. So this is where my this is where my pond ends, I guess. That's interesting. Or like whatever you want to call it, my lake. I'm gonna put it on the lift and see if that's what's causing the lag. Hmm, I don't think it is. Maybe I've explored too much of the map. Who knows? Oh, what's that? It's like a building on an island. Literally. I want to go check that out. Nice little outpost here. That act. This little peninsula actually could be good for mining right here. Oh, uh, sorry. What am I saying? For farming, I could block it off with a wall. Only one entrance and one exit. I could do that, and it's not far from the mechanic shop. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in mind. That's that's pretty cool. Oh man, I just I can't get out, guys. Just just put in the comments right now. How good does this thing look? Okay, stop, stop. There we go. How good does this thing look? It looks so good. I'll answer it for you. So good. <laughs> I know I'm not the uh, you know the most uh, aesthetically pleasing builder out of the scrap mechanic bunch, but hey, I think I did pretty well. <laughs> All right, let's get back in here. I'm still showing uh, no 60 FPS, but it doesn't feel like 60 FPS. Eh, who knows? Oh, missed our turn. Okay, what do we have here? What's that over there? Let's turn here first before we go any further. What do we got here? Oh, dude. Dude, look at this. First of all, can you collect water from these is the question. Because that's kind of cool. Just a bunch of broken pipes. But guys, this this could be perfect for a base. I thought I would be looking forever, but this could be perfect for a base. Because it's a dead end. It's much bigger than that little spot over there. I can literally just put a wall across like from here to all the way to the shore. It's going to be a big wall. Oh my goodness. And I already have like an archway, like a gateway into my place. This would be a big base this this would be a big spot for a base i don't know man i th i think this like i'll i'll go explore more but i think this could be it i think this actually could be it okay well you know what and we got a building over there on the island that we could loot with like a rope well i guess not a rowboat but like a little jet boat oh man i'm getting so many ideas now <laughs> let's get going here let's uh let's explore a little more but man that spot was wicked wonder if my bearings are causing causing some of this lag I really hope not. Tell me if you guys think if my opening hood feature is worth... Oh, it's not of an opening right now. Maybe that's the problem. It's just glitching in. But in any case, you guys let me know if you think this opening hood is worth keeping at the expense of some lag or what. I think it's really cool. I really don't want to get rid of it. Um, if anything, I could always make a little pop-up one in the, you know, in the front here. Just have this grill pop open so I can adjust the engine. But, ah... Uh... It's just, it made me so happy when I thought of that. But anyway, it looks like we're at the end of the road again. Not much road in this direction, guys. Like, I thought I'd be going for a while, like, on the other road. The other road literally took me, like, probably around the whole map. It went on for a while. I guess this is it. I guess this is all there is for this section of the map. This section of the road. Um, guys, I, I think it's pretty clear, pretty clear that I have to move into this, this little dead end over here. 
and just build a wall and just go from there, you know? I think that's what's gonna have to happen. I think I'm gonna start moving all my stuff. I am pumped. I am pumped on this spot. I'm not pumped on this lag that I'm experiencing though, which I don't even know where it's coming from. Alrighty, so I'm gonna head back to the shop, I'm gonna start loading the truck up, and I guess we'll start moving. I mean, at the end of the day, like, I don't really get attacked by haybots right now, so I'm not too worried about that. I will start farming a little bit, and then- oh jeez, oh jeez, we're two wheeling. <laughs> hey dude, hi dude, do you want to hang out? Do you want to be friends? Yeah, so I'm gonna get my stuff, and I don't think it's gonna be an issue not having really a wall or anything built right off the bat. It's probably not the smartest idea, but I kind of just wanna move out of the workshop and get settled in somewhere fresh. And, you know, kind of start start a new life. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hey, open my hood. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I had that open because it was jammed again, but uh, I guess he unjammed it for me. Now, I do think I will always kind of have the mechanic station as one of my bases, you know, um, but I do, uh, you know, do kind of want to have a home build base per se. I will probably keep this as my maybe vehicle garage. I don't know. I still haven't figured it out, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I figure let's start loading some stuff up into the truck. It might be boring, so I'll just time lapse it and we'll go from there. Oh man, I'm gonna miss this place so bad. I like it, like I like the mechanic shop, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like your boy's gotta grow up and you know, move out of his parents' house. <laughs> I mean, the reality is, is that I have to start farming and uh, I would much rather be close to where my farming is rather than having to go there every night. So that's kind of why I'm just moving it all at once. So let's just start packing this stuff up. Not gonna lie, I'm being a bit stubborn here. <laughs> I'm trying to get this whole truck filled up with all the stuff that I got, and it's proving to be a little difficult. Oh, we still got this trailer. Hmm, ideas, ideas. I'm gonna get this done, guys. I'm gonna move everything in one go. Just watch me. Alrighty guys, the caravan is ready. I'm pretty sure I packed every single thing up. I've got everything hooked up together. This is probably a horrible idea, but eh, I'm full of them. <laughs> I think that's everything. I'm just gonna check once again. Man, this is like actually moving out. You know, like you gotta go back. You gotta make sure you got everything. I am gonna leave that up there because, well, whatever. I don't want that anyway. <laughs> Khan got that for me and I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, I think I got everything and oh no, there's still this. Oh boy, okay, here we go. 
Alrighty, now I got everything. I'm glad I had the inventory space for that because I, uh, yeah, I would have just left it. <laughs> but yeah, I got everything on here and I'm ready to move out. I just realized the thing with moving is you gotta unpack it all once you get there. So that's gonna be exciting. That might take a while, just like in real life. <laughs> Let's drop it all down and see how much lag we get. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, let's stiffen up this suspension, I guess. Stiff as she goes, at least. The front, it is what it is. It's getting towed anyway. So, let's, let's get moving. I think I need to adjust my engine power first. There we go. Get back in. Oh, what? Wrong seat. <laughs> I got into the bed. I guess my guy's a little sleepy. Now we can go. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I can make it through here. Should I even try? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna not try. <laughs> oh, we're actually towing everything. We are actually towing everything. Wow, this is awesome. Definitely, you know, 20 frames, <laughs> but it's because there's a lot of bearings in contact with each other, I'm pretty sure. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the stack of soil in the back is hilarious. It's like a snake. I gotta get a screenshot here. Six and a half hours later. Alrighty, that's enough thumbnails. Guys, I actually sat here all night because it started getting dark and I'm like, well, I gotta get my thumbnail. So I literally just waited all night for it to be bright out again. Now, the other thing I wanted to say is I'm pretty sure the fuel gets consumed based on the weight of your vehicle, or I guess based on the weight of the vehicle that the engine is attached to. So, cause I had like, this was full, this was full. I maybe had like 20, 20, 20, 20 and six but this is, this is a lot of fuel gone. I'm gonna have to double check that, but a little worrying, a little worrying. I'm definitely gonna have to create a vehicle, you know, for exploration that's a lot more, uh, you know, fuel happy. Sorry, I guess less fuel happy. <laughs> Consumes less fuel, and uh, I, I will definitely need something that's, you know, not, not this crazy, because once we pull into the garage, we'll see, well, not the garage, once we pull into the new building area we'll check how much fuel we got left so oh boy oh <laughs> that trailer in the back is not having a good time oh no oh, no 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 no, no. <laughs> we almost flipped it we almost flipped it oh man here we are our new home i can't wait to get all these bearings detached from each other getting 20 frames right now cool all righty here we are beautiful let's see how much gas we got left we just burned through 10 gas! Oh my goodness. Oh, it sucks. That's horrible. Why? Why? <laughs> it's so much. Oh, uh, it sucks. <laughs> it took me a while to get all that gas too. The truck actually wasn't bad by itself. It's like I put the gas on. I put all the other stuff on it and it just, uh, it started chewing through it. Maybe my theory is right. Maybe it does depend on the mass of the blocks that are attached to the engine. I don't know, but that would make sense. So here we are, guys. I have to unpack now. It's uh, not going to be fun. Let me put it that way. Um, I do have to start building my wall before I do any sort of, you know, farming or anything like that. And I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode. I think I need a bit more materials to build my wall. And uh, I'm excited to get started in this new place. I'm excited to go loot that building. I'm excited to have a boat go explore the ocean. It's going to be cool. I'm definitely going to be visiting the mechanic shop quite frequently. I've got some projects in mind over there, so we're going to work on those. And in the meantime, just, you know, start, start settling down. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a bit of a short one and uh, I apologize, you know, that it took me a while to get it out. Like I said, I, I'm a little busy with other stuff in life and I wish I could put out videos more often, but that's just the way it is for now. And I have to I have to be okay with that. But I wanted to show you guys my truck. It took me a while to build this thing. I hope you think it's cool too. And I, I can't wait to, you know, turn it into a better hauler, into a miner, and just really see how far we can go with this one. Definitely not gonna forget about this platform. Like I said, this guy is gonna become a hover truck or something along those lines in the future. Uh, I think that'd be kind of cool and probably suck up a lot of gas, but that's uh that's a problem for another day <laughs> but in any case i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and thank you very much for supporting me thank you very much for watching my stuff if you did enjoy the video please click the like button down below it does help the video be seen by other people the algorithm does its magic and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe with notifications so that you can stay up to date with all the future videos and i will see you guys in the next one bye